really good. Okay. Nothing wrong with the mum drama. All right, number two, a sitcom called Mum. Right. <laughs> I got into that. Really, right. Honestly, okay. watch Mum on BritBox. It's a bit, oh, it is, uh, it's so underrated. It's absolutely it's so funny as well. There's a character called Pauline in it, and she's really funny. Number three, Starstruck yeah, on Star ITV. Yeah, Starstruck. It, it was the final at the weekend. Starstruck is, honestly, it's like, it's better than Stars in the Eyes. It's yeah. like the 2022 version of Stars in the Eyes. And you absolutely can't tell the difference whatsoever between the Starstruck stars and the actual voice can you the share on there sounded more like share than share and obviously as well uh shift on a gift on saturday night takeaway i've said it wrong gift again, on a shift Did I say that? every oh, time no. right anyway moving <laughs> on newsbeat time here's priya rai one a musician's admitted to murdering a teenager newsbeat a man's facing life in prison after admitting to murdering a student in Plymouth. The body of 18-year-old Bobby Ann McLeod was found in woods just outside the city last year. Cody Ackland, who's 24, will be sentenced next month. Lynn Goodings from a local domestic abuse charity. A young girl was going out to meet her friends in the early evening and she ended up being murdered. It's absolutely shocking, so it's not surprising. Lots of people in the community were really scared about what had actually happened. Newsbeat. Ukraine's president. President Vladimir Zelensky has told the United Nations that war crimes have been committed by Russia. Satellite images appear to go against claims from President Putin's government that the killings of civilians in the Ukrainian town of Bucha happened after its soldiers withdrew. Russia is due to defend itself to the UN. A former and serving police officer from the West Mercia Force have been charged with hate crime offences after an inquiry into alleged racially offensive images shared on WhatsApp. The independent body that deals with complaints about the police, says James Watson PC Joan Jinx will appear in court next month. A court in the US is forcing a YouTuber to delete their videos about Cardi B. It's after the rapper sued Tasha Kay, claiming the clips included false and degrading statements. On to sport in the Champions League's back later, Man City midfielder Bernardo Silva reckons it'll be a physical match for them at home to Atletico Madrid in the first leg of their quarterfinal. The best that we can do is, is do our game and beat them on the pitch. Then the rest is up to the referees. The referees in this competition are very good and I'm sure that they will deal with it properly. Liverpool, meanwhile, have got a trip to Benfica. Coming up on the main news beat... It's on the TV every time you put it on, isn't it? Gambling adverts, that is. Some people probably start too early, don't they? I'm not playing like crazy, you know, just for fun. And fun for some isn't the same for others. We ask you what difference it will make when celebs and influencers are banned from being in gambling ads later this year. That's Newsbeat with me at 5.45. Baby. Radio 